the officials call it. It's the dreaded call when you know you're nearing a pressure moment and they ask you to get ready to compete. It's the sort of occasion where you give away all of your things. You don't need your phone, you don't need your wallet, you don't need your keys, the things that I've spent most of these championships kind of looking for at the end of each session. Um, but the athletes don't have to worry about that. You know, don't need any belongings right now. Just the pure focus to, to think about the task ahead. And now, once again, the special light show building up to the final action of the evening, the women's 100 metre final. So work has gone in to try and get the crowd excited and, and put in a visual spectacle, really, across uh, six particular finals, including these two 100s. The relay finals, women's 200 and men's spin hurdles final. This is uh, Maria Perez of Spain, 11.07 improvement to this year. Well, the time qualifiers. Zainab Dosso now, well, we saw Ola Tunde eclipse a long-standing Irish national record. She's very close to the 11.14 best of Manuela Leverato, who took bronze in both sprints here at the European Championships in 2002 in Munich. So Imani Lansico then, she was one of those who had to wait in those hot seats. And after one semi-final, her interest grew. And then finally, she knew her place was sealed. Eva Svoboda, the European indoor 60-metre champion in 2019. It was so gutting to see that she missed the chance to defend that title due to COVID. But you always say there's another day, there's another championships. Sometimes that's been none more the case this year. The Europeans to look forward to, among other events. Gina Lukenkemper, I tell you what, she got the bronze in 2016, the silver in 2018. Could she take gold? An outside contender, someone who has run under 11 seconds this year and looking to complete that set. Daryl Nita, though, someone who recently was a Commonwealth silver medalist in Birmingham, competing at all three of those major championships and consistently running sub-11. 10.90 now at best. She was the fastest qualifier. Mujinga Kambunji, well, she is just 100 faster. 10.89, new national record to win the Swiss title. 22.05 as well in Eugene, over 200. But Dina Asher-Smith is the defending champion. It was a hat-trick for her, 1-2 in the relay. She knows the kind of job she has to do in this competition. Daryl Nita winning the national title, but uh, Dina, I'm sure, will have her head down here. She won the bronze over 200 in Eugene, up against such incredible competition from three Jamaicans. But these women, with the music in the background, the light show adding to the tension and the excitement for this final event of day two at these European Athletics Championships. Just look at this. Eyes peeled on these eight finalists. So it's tough to call, but Dina has done this before in Berlin. Mujinga Kambunji should be close to her. 11.05 in qualifying, and then Daryl Nita looked like more to come from her. Lansico, Dosso, Asher Smith, Kambunji, Nita, Lucan Kemper, Svoboda, and Perez. The final of the women's 100 metres. So Asher Smith from three, a decent start for her. Dosso nearly alongside. Here comes Kambunji. Asher Smith is out. Kambunji. Looking Kemper trying to chase. Oh my word! Looking Kemper with Nita also closing. That had way more drama than we were anticipating, and you could even write. So in the end, Nita 
fastest qualifier, but we don't break 11 seconds. At least that's what the clock stops at. 11 dead. And Bunji just looking. It's been given to Lukenkemper, who does incredibly complete the set. Bronze, silver and gold across the last three European Championships. Well, that is truly incredible. And there'll be some in this stadium who really believe she could do it, and others who will think that's some surprise. Kambunji then, they've been given the same time. Officially now it is below 11, 10.99. And it means so much to Lukin Kemper. She won the relay bronze medal in Eugene, where unfortunately the Brits, from their point of view, faltered with that injury to Dina Asher-Smith, who wasn't recovered. Daryl Nita follows up her Commonwealth medal with one then in the Europeans. Well, where did that come from, from Gina Luke and Kemper? Out in lane six, and there was absolutely nothing to suggest in her pre-championship form that she was going to challenge the likes of Majinga Kambunje and Daryl Nita, nor Dina Asher-Smith, whose injury issues came back to haunt her. Look at the tears flooding down. Germany's first champion at the sprint since Verena Saylor 12 years ago. Kambunje, well, she got a bronze six years ago on home soil when they were in Zurich. Was aiming just to become the second Swiss woman ever to win a European Championships title. She got so close, it came down to thousands of a second. Once again, Daryl Nita just denied after looking so, so good in the semi-finals. After that, everyone was a long way back. It was those three. We'll try and give you an update on the situation with Dina Asher-Smith, but it did look as though it was the problem that played her in the relay in Eugene. Well, the medics just paying some attention to Lucan Camper. I think she just took a bit of a knock on the wrist as she fell over the line. And Luke and Camper just comes from a long, long way back. Kambunje, an absolutely terrific start from her. Svoboda, the 60 meter specialist, drops back after 50 meters. There she goes, she takes a tumble, rolls over on her wrist. Well, the pain was immediately forgotten once she crossed the line. It's taken a minute or two for it to <laughs> go through the nervous system. Well, I cannot recall a women's major international championship that was split by just one one hundredth of a second between the three medalists. That's one four looking up further down the line. She just can't believe it. I think she's probably taken a sprain on the wrist. Hopefully that won't affect her bat and hand. I don't know quite what it is. She just can't believe it. But where did that come from? It's blood, sweat and tears, quite literally, isn't it, for Lucan Kemba. That's her fifth medal in uh, three editions of these championships. So, so close. I almost want to cry just looking at the way that she burst into tears there. Kambunji, though, such a consistent performer. She really made her name after those home championships in Zurich, and this time it's another athlete in their own backyard, as it were on the top step of the podium. But uh, if you're the gold medalist, you get the attention of the medical staff quite quickly, don't you? And uh, she'll be glad to see that running through all the emotions. But look at the face, though, of Daryl Nita. Was, she wanted more than that. I was going to say, the quick exit from the track of Daryl Nita says everything. She was brilliant in the semi-finals, dipping underneath 11 seconds and just, as you said, Phil, maybe letting the occasion get the better of her. She just looked tense, couldn't quite push past Kambunji and Lucan Kempfer in the closing stages. And Kambunji as well got a lightning quick start, did super well to hold on to second place. And a shame to see Dina Asher-Smith. She threw her hands up when she had to stop in frustration. Ultimately, the reigning champion had to jog it in and settle for eighth place. I think that'll be a major blow to the relay hopes of Great Britain and Northern Ireland and a major boost to the German medal hopes. Bronze at the World Championships. Could they take another gold here? And Kambunji, another brilliant championship performance. Lightning quick start. She's worked on that. We've seen her be great indoors, taking that world indoor title. So Kambunji with the lead at the moment, and Dina Asher Smith pulling up 30 or 40 meters into the race. Daryl Nita is perhaps finishing the fastest out of the three medalists. You can see Nita pulling up alongside Lukan Kempfer. 
and it all changes in perhaps the last five, ten metres. Can Bungie just falters ever so slightly? Look and Kemper has the momentum and the great lean as well from the German athlete times that to perfection. So much so she can barely get over the line. A wonderful emotion for Gina Look and Kemper. I think her non-selection for Eugene individually was a bit contentious. And she's bounced back brilliantly well to take this title here. It's funny, when you look at those pictures and you see the times, you think all three athletes had such a brilliant chance to win that. But Luke and Kemba came through similar to the way that she did in the semi-final. Only Nita was in front of her. But the determination there, there just seemed to be no stopping her. This was her day in the Olympiastadion in Munich for the German Gina Lukenkeber, now 25 years of age, but yeah, she's been competing at these kinds of championships for uh, six years and more, so has that experience. But to get gold, silver, and bronze. Uh